Well, I'm here to give you the good news or the bad news, depending on whichever side you land on. But whether you like it or not, here I am to tell you that yes, the Acolyte is rumored to be cancelled. And you, you probably are going to see a lot of uh, YouTubers or websites, articles, you name it, talking about the, the reason why it was cancelled. And they're going to tell you a bunch of lies, uh, every single one of them. They're going to say that it was due to poor viewership, that, it's, that it was because no one liked it, it didn't bring enough revenue, uh, the, the drop-off was, was significant, yada, 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 yada. I'm here to tell you that that is, that is, that is all lies. They're, they're trying to pull your leg. That is not, that is not the reason. I'm here to tell you the actual reason, because I know it. And this is true, 100% true. And anyone that says otherwise is lying. Because I, I am the only one that knows the real reason why the Acolyte has been cancelled. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. This is the reason. Because Lucasfilm got a, got a whiff of my re-edit of the Acolyte. As you probably have uh, already figured out, I've been posting from time to time videos of me re-editing the Acolyte. And sometimes I do live streams where I re-edit this thing live. And you guys can see my process and what I do and how I do. But um, Lucasfilm was like, guys, there's no way we can compete with this. This re-edit is turning out so goddamn good that at this point we would be dishonoring the re-edit. So, that is the reason why. That is the absolute 100% true reason why the Acolyte's been cancelled. Is because if they renew it for a second season, it's going to mess with the canon on my, of my re-edit. And then problems are going to ensue. As you can hear right now, my phone was vibrating. It was Kathleen Kennedy telling me that she is honoring the legacy of Star Wars by keeping the canon of this re-edit alive and not renewing it for a second season. Because this thing is turning out so goddamn good that they just cannot fathom to not honor it. So, if you're wondering, is it really this good? Yes, it really is good. What I've shown so far on the on the videos online, it's probably about a 15 or 20 percent of everything that I've been doing. Uh, I haven't been going live, re-editing this thing live because I've been busy with actual work. <laughs> so it's not like I've been able to like getting back to it but I, I i'm going too soon uh possibly this week but at, at least i'm gonna take advantage of of today and kind of give you an update on the on the re-edit we um we are technically close to a rough cut uh i've re-edited the all of this that you see that is right now at the two hour and 20 minute mark that is all the eight episodes combined into one movie. If you didn't know, I'm going to make an Acolyte movie. Uh, I'm going to have a Star Wars title crawl and everything. And uh, I'm going to try to honor as much of the legacy that George Lucas created. What I'm trying to do with this is a movie that will be good for the viewers. If you just don't like the, you know, the... Uh, the, the personality of the characters and you, you wanted a new take, I suggest that you watch this with those pair of eyes. Don't, don't come into this thing thinking that I'm going to suddenly change the characters and uh, from, male, uh, from female to male and I'm going to have Qui-Gon Jinn uh, shooting lasers out of his asshole or something. Because that's not the case. I am grabbing this story that was presented and turning it into something that is hopefully better. 
Uh, but in my opinion, this thing has potential. And yes, the green lady is in this thing. Yes, sadly it is. But in this in this uh, re-edit, the Nepo Master Jedi, she is actually tolerable. <laughs> she's actually not likable because it's impossible. But, uh, but she's to tolerable. Uh, we have Sol being a Jedi, like an actual Jedi, uh, who makes decisions and is not just waiting on whatever the High Council is going to say to take to take actions. We have the sisters, and the sisters have a very more defined personality in which you see how it's actually been balanced now. One, one chooses her path, the other one does as well, but with intention and actual... Uh, purpose. We don't have stupid ass moments of trying to make every single Jedi look like a jerk, like in this case with uh, with uh, Yor or whatever his name is. God, I I just uh, the names are so generic. Your soul, like Val, is just there. There's not a whole lot of imagination for the names. But um, but yes, so this, this uh, to be honest with you, like I tend to be very critical of film because I'm a film editor myself. And if I wouldn't, I wouldn't have like re-edited this if I didn't think it was, uh, there was a possibility of making it good. And I do think that this is going to turn out really good. And I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I will be posting more videos um, soon. Uh, like I said, all that I've shown you kind of comes from this, from right here. Uh, there's still all of this to show you and explain and like give you context and reasonings why. So, uh, so yeah, I just hope that, that, you, that you stick with me through this journey and that you like it. And yeah, that's it. See ya. Bye.